Hey guys, Sabre here from the Frag Dolls, and I'd like to welcome you to the first episode of our new tabletop gaming web series, where every month we'll feature one new tabletop game. For the first episode, I wanted to showcase a game that's actually based on a very popular video game, where the third installment just came out a couple weeks ago. So without further ado, let's check the stats on the Gears of War board game. In the Gears of War board game, each player controls a famous COG soldier from the Gears of War story and plays through one of seven missions, all of which are actual missions from the campaign game in the Gears of War 1 and 2 video games. These mission cards determine the objective, any special rules, and the types of enemies you'll face during the game. And in true Gears of War fashion, each player can only hold up to four weapons, three guns, and one type of grenade. Each player begins with six order cards, which is how your character moves, attacks, and defends during the game. What's unique about these order cards is that they not only dictate your movement and actions within the game, but they also function as your health bar. It's an interesting game mechanic where in order to do anything in the game, like move or pick up items, you have to use order cards, but the more you use, the less health you have, making it easier for you to bleed out. At the beginning of your turn, take up to two order cards to replenish your health. Next, discard an order card to perform the actions printed on the card. These actions must be taken in the order they are printed. After you've replenished your health by drawing order cards and you've performed all of your movements, your turn is done. But that now means that the Locust AI get to go. Draw a Locust card and carry out the action printed on the card. This usually consists of the Locust moving, attacking, or spawning on the board. During the Locust phase, you can again discard order cards to do a reaction, which is determined by the symbol on the card. There are three symbols that represent three different reactions, dodge, guard, and follow. Attacking in the game is pretty simple. If you're the attacker, the first thing you have to choose is what weapon to attack with. Each weapon has an area range and has two attack numbers. The first is the normal attack, and the second is the overkill attack. Normal attack value requires no ammo, but gives you fewer dice to use during the attack. The overkill attack value forces you to spend ammo tokens, but gives you more attack dice, thus increasing your chances of success. The attack and defense dice are unique in that they are six-sided dice, but instead of numbers, they have blank sides, one hit sides, two hit sides, and an omen side. If you roll an omen, then look at the bottom of your weapon card to perform the special action. Similarly, the defense dice have blank sides, one wound defenses, and two wound defenses. So what makes this game so cool? There are four things that I picked out from this game. The first is that you and your friends can all play co-op. In fact, the entire game is co-op. So all you have to do is grab your friends, choose a cog soldier, and go kick some locust butt. The second thing is that this game allows for your friends to jump in and jump out at any time. So, you can have people join in, but the enemy actually levels up with you, giving them more turns as you add more people into your team. The third thing is the use of cover, where just like in the video game, both COG soldiers and the Locusts can take cover for an added defense bonus. The fourth thing is using your order cards as your health points. This actually gives a nice balance between using strategy and tactics during the game and going through run and gun scenarios. All in all, this game does a great job mirroring the video game in terms of campaign missions, co-op style, and game mechanics. But what do you guys think? Leave us a comment and let us know. A big shout out goes to Epic Games and Fantasy Flight for developing the board game. And remember to subscribe to the Frag Dolls on YouTube and follow us on Twitter and Facebook to catch the next episode of our tabletop gaming series.